Hi, I'm Technolandy, and here are three news items I caught that you may have missed as we end off the week of October 29th. The first is, over in Ontario, thousands of educators may be losing their jobs because they aren't vaccinated. There's been a warning and a promise that uh, provincial educators need to have their vaccination done or their won't have employment. And that seems to be the way that the provincial government is going. I am double vaccinated. I can't help but think we're in a pandemic. If you can't be vaccinated, might not be the right time to be in schools. Don't care if it's popular or unpopular opinion. I, <laughs> that's my belief. The second news item this week is that Afghanistan girls are still learning, but it is happening underground. While the Americans have pulled out and the Taliban is back in effect, education has gone back to the way it was. Uh, however, girls are still working hard, working, learning underground, and keeping coding and other skills up to par. The third item is the one that worries me the most. Resignations and sh staff shortages are a growing trend. I've been warning people in my school in particular that I've seen this trend from the schools that opened about a month before schools in BC did as we open right after Labor Day. <sighs> and now we're seeing many, many more trends starting to move northward and westward where people are taking leaves of absence and outright leaving jobs. So far we haven't had any uh, shortages yet, but the trend is worrying as the pandemic does continue and continues to be the biggest factor on most of the news items. Those are three th news stories involving education that you may have missed ending off October 29th.